Hi guys, Alistair Taylor here, and we're going to do a video comparing the TaylorMade M1 against the brand new M2. So even though M2's only been out in the UK for about a week, I've had a lot of guys asking me to test these two against each other. So they're both set nine and a half, and I'm going to put the same shaft, Curricage Silver Stiff in there, and I'm going to set the M1 to as low spin as possible. So we're going to go on SkyTrack again, so it's closed data. It's still freezing down here, so ball flight's not affected. I am. I've already hit half a dozen before the video, and I'm going to hit another three, just because I know you guys love watching my swing, but probably don't want to watch me hit that many balls. I'm going to hit M2 first, then onto M1, give you some feedback, look at the performance, and see possibly which one of these two you might be getting in your bag this year. So... M2 first, just because I've got the head on there from having hit it before. And if you've watched my review video, you'll know I love the look, love the feel of this driver. And the really big thing for me in the review video was just how forgiving this driver is. Yes, I've had comments off you guys that I need all the help I can get. Won't necessarily disagree with you on that one. So, really good strike there. Turning over a little drawer as normal. Little bit higher off the face, that's launched a bit higher. But exactly the same shape. And let's go one final one with M2. So, my biggest surprise with TaylorMade was that they haven't made them from the top look a bit more different to each other. I dare say TaylorMade will say that that's the idea, that you feel that you get that still premium look and finish, even with M2. Again, that's just so solid. I mean, I think just from seeing how the ball's been flying to begin with, I didn't see a big difference in how these two drivers have performed. Haven't looked at numbers yet, and we will look at them shortly. But let's take the M2 head off, get M1 on there, hit some shots, and see how it goes. Eventually. So clearly I'd be no good on any of those uh, M1 races, where you've got to set it up as quick as you can and hit a shot. About quality though, really, more than anything with my videos. Right, so M1's good to go. And like I said, the big thing for me is, you put them side by side, and they just they look like the same driver from the top. Obviously underneath T-Track in the M1, and this is set as low spin as I can get it. And it clearly doesn't look like it spins a lot. Which is good. I mean, a lot of guys that I fit, I think, do struggle with having too much spin. For them, it's probably a little bit technique-based about hitting down too much as well. But from the initial fittings we've done with M1, I have seen a benefit to being able to move the weight around at the bottom. I mean, I'll be honest, when I hit them like that, I, cu I couldn't tell the difference. You know, if somebody just chopped and changed and said hit them, for me, I couldn't tell you whether I was hitting M1 or M2. So, one final one, and then we'll have nine shots on each, and we'll look at some averages. Oh, that is as good as it gets. Ooh. Okay, guys, so let's look at some numbers. We've got TaylorMade M1 versus TaylorMade M2. Okay, so nine shots is a, is a good average for me, then, as we look at averages. Surprisingly... I've actually swung M2 a little bit quicker. Now, I don't think there's anything in that because, you know, the, the head's not more aerodynamic and I had the exact same shaft in there. I did launch M1 a little bit higher. Possibly that's down to me maybe just hitting that a tiny bit higher on the club face. Interestingly, though, spin was almost identical. So the fact that I've got the weight up near the face with M1 and the weight's further back on M2 actually didn't make any difference for me. Carry, there's only one yard in it. 
and total two yards. So for me, M2 actually performed better. Right, guys. So we've looked at numbers, and we've tested M1 against M2. What did the numbers tell us? Is M1 better than M2? They were very, very close. I mean, almost identical. For me personally, I actually got a bit more out of M2. Now, argument was M1 launched higher, M2 spun less. So not necessarily what the manufacturer would claim, what TaylorMade would claim. Is that down to the fact that it's weighted differently or have my strikes just been marginally different on the face? I would probably put it down to that. I mean, what I would draw from that test is that for me, M2 is actually very, very good for me. Whereas M1, I probably wouldn't need that extra bit of dialability. But for some guys, M1 will make a difference. So guys, thanks for watching. Um, subscribe if you don't already. Leave any comments. Hopefully see some of you guys down here in the future. Stay in contact.